Hello, my name is David McLennan. I'm with the Teaching and Learning Department at Conestoga College, and I am an observer of teaching. So what is an observation of teaching? A professional development opportunity by the Teaching and Learning Department. An observer will spend time in your class looking for those good things that you're doing to support student learning and to come up with some ideas that would be practical and things that you can use in the very next week. You'll get written feedback and guided reflections on my observation page. And once the observer has received your reflections, we'll arrange a post-observation chat to talk teaching and explore those practical ideas in more depth. So why are you having an observation? Well, department chairs give us a list of a number of faculty each semester, and one of us is assigned to reach out and contact you. You are an expert in your field. We're here to support you as colleagues and as educators. We want all teaching faculty to have the tools to be successful at Conestoga College. And by the way, you can also request an observation for your own professional growth. Let's have a look at the process. All of the things that are in yellow are things that are done for you. The things that are in green are things that you do. What is in blue is what we do together. Let's have a look. We get the request either from you or your department chair. An observer is assigned and we make contact and set a date. In the case uh, of online, we will do it that way. Otherwise, we'll be in your class. We'll spend about 60 to 90 minutes. We try to leave around a break time so it's not disruptive. A written observation is done usually within the next few days and sent to you along with the reflection sheet for you to fill out, which you are going to complete and send back to us. It's got questions about what resonated with you. What do you want to try? What do you want to chat about with your observer? Then we have a post-observation coaching session where we chat for a half hour, 45 minutes, and just talk about those things in more depth and how we can better support and coach you. The observation is then sent back to your department chair along with your reflections, and all this is copied to you as well. So what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for elements of lesson and delivery. So if you follow that BOPS lesson plan template, you'll recognize what's in this section. We're looking for clarity and subject matter expertise, how you bring the real world into the classroom experience. Your delivery skills, enthusiasm and rapport, so basically the relationships and how you engage with the students. We also look at diversity, inclusion and accessibility. We all have different needs as learners and there are strategies that maximize reaching diverse populations. And we also look at the legal. This deals with professionalism, copyright and human rights. So please check out the Teaching and Learning website for more information and links to resources and professional development opportunities. And here is what it looks like. Thanks, and I hope that you have a great experience with your observation of teaching.